ain't going nowhere. The older I get, the more fucking gas I got. And it's, it's annoying. It's like I got gas all day. Like all day. Don't eat a salad. And that's what I've been eating. Salads and oatmeal. Gas all day. Your stomach be like, yeah. Fucking making uh, beats and shit. I was be sitting there working like I gotta like go outside and just like to fart, <laughs> and it be like the. You never notice that shit until you actually. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, it's long. You, you really never notice that until you get to work because like if you were like somebody that like, works from home or you're you just at home, all day? you're farting all day and you don't even recognize. You just like, oh, bah, bah, bah. my wife you, do. It's like when you get to work. When you get to a facility that you actually have to be productive, like like as far as I mean, you're always productive, but yeah. you're like in front of people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you're around people, your stomach just start doing. It. It's always silent meetings. Yeah, it's always it's like, like when your kids uh, want to act up in front of company and shit. Like, yeah, you, you doing this now? <laughs> it's like you don't usually do this when you know what I'm saying when, when we together. Like, Barry, <laughs> Barry. Speaking of work, man. It, it's some motherfuckers at work who like they come in and they just go take a shit. Oh yeah. What type of motherfucker? Like you left the house. Were you rushing out? Oh, you used to do this? Hell yeah, bro. When I had to, like, and I so had you just time. came to work to shit. Like, like to shit and leave? <laughs> no, not to shit and leave. <laughs> just like, hey, before nah, I do any work, on like, this commute, especially if you like commuting. Like, I had to, I had to drop the shorties off. Like, if I woke up and didn't have the time, like, to actually go. Because, like, I'm a, I'm a morning, like, shitter. Like, that's just me. I have okay. to, every morning, I got to I gotta do it. So, you know this about yourself. Why yeah. don't you shit in the morning at home? If you have the time, I, I definitely would prefer you can't it. can't make the time? So, this is a personal choice. You like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to go to work. And shit in here and let everybody else smell me, like I'm the rock. I mean, like depending on the type of bathroom, like when I, the bathroom I was going to wasn't nobody in there in the morning. It was a big bathroom. Yeah, the personal pan bathroom. No, it was like you go into the handicap stall because it's bigger and the toilets are taller. Oh yeah. So <coughs> that Fuck like the handicap people. No, because it was like nobody on Susan that floor. Susan in there like ain't that a no, no nobody on that floor would ever use it. So like I'm saying. My prefer would would be to use it at home, but a lot of times if you're waking up, you don't just have a, a, a depending on like the night that you're in, like sometimes you just don't want to wake up anymore. Sometimes you just have a hard time waking up. No, what I'm is wrong? Like, this your everybody, routine? everybody can't be you. I'm talking about this your routine though. Know, <laughs> like, hey, I can't wait to go to work to shit. Oh no, I ain't saying that at all. Like, <laughs> no, all right, I'm no, go I'm in a car and I'm like, oh shit, I just. Mm, I that's, make different. It that's different. I that's my different. That's different. I'm talking about motherfuckers like that. before they like they put their shit down and went to the bathroom. Like this, this is what I do. I ain't even got coffee yet. I'm for the shit before I even talk to anybody. I mean, I, I that's a routine that I think that like, I get down. If they, I, I think that that also has to do with them. Like it probably just you, you know sometimes they kick in. You ever been like? Good and you, and you ain't had to piss like the whole ride home, but right when you get to the door, all that shit just rushes. <laughs> it's like you can't open that door fast enough every day. <laughs> I'm just saying, like there's a at work. <laughs> a lot of people got their systems. I'm not like that's you judging because you don't like maybe I am judging like because they, the they, they, they probably because I don't where, understand what the, I where you're that. at is probably like stinking up the whole place, which I understand. It's, it's stinking up the bathroom. That I gotta go into after that, just piss. Oh, I mean, well, and here your ass come. I mean, it's the fucking bathroom, nigga. You, you, whether it's work at home, if it's the bathroom, you, you taking the it's shit. A, it's a personal pan it. bathroom, though. You oh, know like an individual. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> this is where you supposed to come in here and piss. At bro. least spray. You ain't supposed to. Go, yeah. At least do that. Yeah. Don't come in here and you know smell what the rock is cooking. I mean, y'all at fucking seven in the morning. But see, y'all like every yeah. day. So. Like, yeah, y'all need to just get a candle or something, man. Y'all? And there's other bathrooms, too. 
you just like you nah, just want to do the one that's right here <laughs> next to everybody with yeah, the door with the door creaked open. Down. Do like, they leave the door open too? Everybody know where the shit bathroom. Do they leave the bathroom open? Think he's special? Nah, you couldn't leave the bathroom open. That'll be a whole HR <laughs> thing. Yeah, he get reported. Like, hey, I seen his balls. Like, you say yourself. Not like that. I'm talking about like when they leave out, nigga. Oh <laughs> uh, no. Nah. Even that'll be some HR shit. Like, I can't. I got asthma. I can't breathe that shit in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the show. (laughs) People on that goofy shit. These people out here tweaking, bro. If you ready for the show, say, say, say. Hey, right, welcome to the I Ain't Going Show where anything goes except us. I am your host, CJ. Awesome, CJ ish. Here with my boy, my co host, D. D is in yo, his yo. bag. And we are here to debate, relate, berate, and be great. And as usual, it's homie time right now, okay? What's going on with you, man? How you been? I've been good, bro. Just been <laughs> making, you know what I'm saying, moves. Time and, to make the donuts. Yeah, man. You know, just. Life has been life and I've just been good, bro. No no complaints, no nothing really like crazy happened. Uh uh today that we're recording uh is actually my sister's birthday. So oh, you okay. know, happy birthday to her. Ta-da-da. Oh, Eric. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what she may go, we can't talk about women's ages. <laughs> yeah, I honestly shit. I don't even know how old she is now. Like she's a young adult, she's still in her twenties, so is she living life. Oh, right they now. might say the ages. No, she's still the same like, age, yeah. What, 30? And this one, they be like, don't ask me that shit. Nah. But don't call me ma'am either. I feel like it's later than that, too. Like, but, uh, no, 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 she's not like that. She's, she, she'll definitely say you are age. I don't care about none of that shit. But, uh, yeah, other than that, man, everything has uh, been good, bro. How about you? I've been good, man. <clears throat> oh, you would take a sip. You could have been talking. I could have coughed through that. Corona! Maybe don't cough. I'm trying to talk. I think it's like some like in the studio here. I think he's trying to say my crib dust. It's some dust. It's like, bro, I ain't been coughing all day. You was coughing outside. I ain't been coughing all day. I got here and and they all and it's all coming out. That's probably why you. Well, what got about allergies. the hundredth yeah, episode? Yeah. You cough. We went at the crib. We was at the theater. It was dusty in there, no, too. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Probably. It ain't. It ain't. It's, it's everybody no, else. It ain't you. But I was coughing around the time. I'm saying, like, this whole week, I have oh, not yeah, been coughing. COVID. I have not been coughing. This, this whole, whole week. week. But you came in here and started coughing. Yep. We ain't been coughing in here either. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't get so defensive. You <laughs> no, you said something. I'm just saying. Don't hey, gaslight me. Hey, hey. Say what you got to say. All I'm saying you is that. Want some I, All I'm saying is that I have not been coughing until I got here. All right. I mean, I would just prefer you not be so fucking passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> just say what the fuck you got to say. All I'm saying is that. See? But then, how was your week? No. Nah, <laughs> no. <nah. laughs> fuck that. You was too busy coughing during one of me telling my, my week. I don't, nah, nah, I don't even want to talk about it no more. Nah, I'm done. Ain't shit happen. <laughs> <laughs> ain't shit happen. I, ain't, uh, I I got some tires. Came out of some bread with that shit for them to tell me some other shit's wrong with my car. Of course. Yeah. Of course there's some shit wrong. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Damn, just gave y'all all this fucking money for these tires. But yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Africans. <laughs> they hooked me up while I'm talking shit. <laughs> it was a good deal. I gotta get some tires too, man. Like, but it's like it's weird though, because I'm at that weird uh, space where, like, even the mechanic that came out was like, "Hey, listen, your tires are good. It's just the threshold for when." These particular tires, they say when the line gets, you know how you feel in between. No, the nigga, tell me when I need them. That's don't, what I'm don't, saying. Don't give me that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and, and when we need them, it's probably when they bald and shit, or, yeah, or near the ball. You know what I'm saying? But these are like, no, when they get to this line, you see how you still. I'm like, bro, I can still stick like damn near. 
like a whole like finger in this motherfucker. Talk to like, me about that shit. like, why is my car telling me that I need to get I tell this you service? One thing. I have been, I pushed these tires like a motherfucker because ain't no snow here. Yeah, so I didn't give a shit. Yeah, I, I should, and I, I don't drive last rough. Year. And yeah. I don't drive rough. Like I don't like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I, I, I might do eighty, but like I ain't peeling and I'm not yeah, aggressive I'm driving like ruining yeah. them. And I should have got tires last year, but I was like, yeah, <laughs> is it gonna snow? Yeah. No. Who gives a shit? And then the rain is still hold tight. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> like, just slow down. Yeah. Fuck out of here. You ain't going to do no better with no new tires and a hydro play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. My week ain't been shit this week, man. It's been boring, slow motion and shit, which is cool. You know, no mm. news is good news, man. I'm just, you know, enjoying the shit. Hopefully, don't nothing bad happen. Yeah. Maybe something good will happen. Don't wish that. Maybe the bad should have come, but... <laughs> We think positive. See, I was telling your ass, think positive. I'm speaking positivity in this shit. Okay. Everything cool. Some good shit I'm always happen. positive, man. No, I'm you not. Like, on, on no, you shit, not. Bro. And on that, I'm going to show your ass how you not always on positive. <laughs> we talk about black history to make it. But first, we got to holler at our sponsor, Stogies and Bagginess. Stogies and Bagginess, premium cigars for the culture. Respect the smoke. Smoke some, bitch. As you can see on the ticker, <laughs> <laughs> go to stogiesandbagginess.com. <laughs> oh, you see how niggas treat you? You try to you try to be animated, try to put your all in some shit. And, and, uh, and. <laughs> hit them up for their mobile cigar lounge <laughs> for your next event. You a goofy. <laughs> <laughs> you a fucking goofy. I swear. It's all love, bro. <laughs> nah, fuck you. <laughs> Shout out, Stokey. <laughs> Smoke some bitch. Anyway, <laughs> you're about uh, to get into Black History in the Making. Black History in the Making, as we always say, we want to shout out our asses for the things they did for us to get to this point right now. But we also want to shout out the good black people that are doing things right now to help us progress. Did you look up ancestors last week? Did you find out what it meant? That was your homework assignment. I looked it up during the show. Oh, I must have been right because you ain't say shit. No, it was like, <laughs> to be honest with you, I did look it up during that show last time, and I, uh-huh. and I saw it, it was just like, it, it was that that our past, you know what I'm saying, people of our past or something like shit like that. Like I said. Nah, it was. Mm. I said your ancestors could still be alive, and you was, you questioned it. No, I, I remember looking, hold on, let me look it up again. Yeah, look I, it up again. I, I can't like be right. It, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I can't be right, especially not in this segment. Go ahead, tell them I'm right. Let's see. A person typically one more remote than a grandparent. So, from whom one is descended. So, it's just really just, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it could be, it could be, excuse me, it could be seen as. Oh, my God. (laughs) All right. Uh, We go, we go, (laughs) Captain, I hope I'm saying your name right, Zeta Merchant. Is now the highest ranking black woman in Coast Guard history. <laughs> Shout out to her. She earned the rank of Rear Admiral, three ranks away from the highest rank. You know, I'm about to answer some of your questions you usually have in there because I don't be prepared, but I am today. Okay. Three ranks away from the highest rank, which is Admiral. Mm-hmm. She's the current commander of the Port of New York, which is the largest on the, the largest port on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She's graduate from Tougaloo College, HBCUs. Ooh. Has served in the. <laughs> you can't be gang banging on here, man. They come and get your ass. I ain't gang banging. <laughs> uh, she has served in the Coast Guard for 27 years. The merchant said, I really feel like this is God's plan and not my plan. <clears throat> God did. And this is another door that has opened for me, and the sky is the limit. Her uh, promotion will be made official in April. So shout out to her. That's what's up. And uh, I want to bring this up too. Raja Karuth. He's a uh, NASCAR driver and he run a national uh, series race, man. No black people in NASCAR, man. Niggas can drive. How about that? Say we couldn't throw. (laughs) (laughs) They say we couldn't throw. They say we couldn't figure out defenses. Apparently, we couldn't drive neither, but we're proving them all wrong. Ain't that right? Gee. 
We just, we just got the natural takeover whenever we get in. Because it's a... Uh, just chances. It, it's a black dude in um, snowboarding that's being real popular right now. And he that motherfucker is taking it to the whole nother level. Like that, I, I don't know his name, but he he been like doing some wild shit. He like the Simone Biles of like snowboarding. Oh, like shit. it's been crazy. <laughs> the Simone Biles. <laughs> like, like the motherfuckers been doing shit that they gonna end up saying, this is illegal. You can't do this in these competitions. Nah. But like he just like out there having fun and it looked dope. So it's more and more, man. Like hopefully. We, yeah, man. Like, opportunities when, when presented. Like those are the type of things that I. Uh, I love that we can always big up. <coughs> Hit it. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Get that nigga. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like those like sports that a lot of people don't really know about that you don't talk about. It's great to be. Yeah, everybody had 1080 on like, 64. Man, listen. The, <laughs> like NASCAR is getting really big in that. Um, shout out to you know Lil Dirk and the Neighborhood Heroes Foundation that he they runs. With it? Like that's one of the big things that they're trying to do uh, is get a lot of young black youth into <clears throat> like knowing about things like sports and shit outside sides of, of sports. Yeah, like there's sides to all of the shit that like we can all do. You know what I'm saying? All our, our like if you only if you know about it, then you know that you can. You'll want to do it or not. I'm just saying, the more you know, it's for real. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, but think about it. How many like uh, of us like growing up, bro, like we knew about basketball. Like you was going to be a hooper. You was going to be, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got those football, like football. Possibly baseball. It was <clears throat> when it came to, was at. when it came to sports, it was being an athlete. You know what yep. I'm saying? Uh, when, it, it, when it came to being an artist, it was being an artist. But then there's like lanes that within that within that or around that that makes it uh well you can make just great money doing shit like yeah. you can do more like with all these different lanes you could be a uh uh a, 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 what is it a, a, a agent you can be just like uh, like within these corporate spaces man it's just really a lot of opportunities and we just don't get to know about it we just see what we see and that's all we have yeah and that's a part of the the problem. This shit is just like not knowing information, and that's why people are the way they are because it's like you don't fucking know. Yeah, but like those dudes in the um and like for even NASCAR for example, and we can move on. But like in NASCAR, like it's like thinking about the dude, the guys that are, that are in the pit. Yeah, the ones that like when a in car pull crew, up yeah. <clears throat> and. There's a guy for everything, every part of that. And they get hired based on how fast they can do those things. Like, it's dope. Like, being yeah. able to carry a huge-ass, like, tire to the car and be able to lift it and do that, that's a skill set. Build that that's, bitch up. Change like, the Yeah, uh, bro. And you got to be shit. quick. So, it's like, it's stuff like that that actually people can do. And there's stuff in the corporate office of NASCAR that you could be, you know what I'm saying, people that help Adjacent sponsor to the that. shit yeah. and get to still be around the shit. Exactly. So, I, I, I love that, man. I, and I think that we got to be able to keep We got to go to a race. So we talked about that shit earlier. Oh, yeah. I hear that shit all the time, like, every Friday night and almost at, or, Cause it's a race track near yeah. uh, near my home. Shit loud. <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> All right, man. Let's uh, let's get into it. I kind of want to change it. Get into it. I want to put get into it at the end, but we'll talk about that later. I That's forgot. coming on. Yes. Here we go. What's going on? See, I don't know why you got to make it all goofy and shit. That's all like, you. You making it like it's something. Just say what you're going to say, nigga. I am saying what I'm going to say, nigga. I'm introducing right. it. I don't know why you don't oh, go respect. Ahead. No, no. Fuck it. Introduce You it. stepped all over it. I, I want to change it. You stepped on it. my shoes. I want to change it. Nah. All right. You know what? This is why. You're lucky I love black people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get into what's going on, man. And I want to talk about... Uh, what's going on? These motherfuckers. <laughs> you're a fucking goofy, G. You are a whole goofy. <laughs> you're a whole goofy. Step on my shit again. I'm flipping this table. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> anyway, they probably got your ass one of these pictures. Trump uh, supporters have been accused of creating fake, <laughs> creating and sharing fake images showing the former president with black voters. It's AI. 
Bro, <laughs> this is some lazy ass shit. How hard was it to find some niggas to take a picture with Trump? Kanye I mean, was doing it for free. He has a whole group. Isn't it like black people for Trump? Ain't that a whole actual group? Yeah. The nigga was the other day talking about, oh, all I see is the black people in the audience and shit like that. Y'all could have got that nigga taking pictures. Y'all did some AI shit. Trump been with niggas since the 90s. Taking pictures and videos and shit like that. Y'all could have got, this is just some lazy ass shit about some <laughs> fake ass racist ass niggas. This yeah. shit was pissing me off. Hey, you know how you can always tell, uh, like, uh, the, the first thing, I'm going to give y'all a little tip right here. This is, this is something okay, that, this here is, you go. This is, this is something you that heard we all are. the artists. So, when it comes to AI, <laughs> and if you want to know if a picture is sermon. real, there's a lot, there's two things, there's two tales that, that, that can help you decipher if that picture is real or not. Now, there's other ways to go deeper. Now, if these two ways are clean, then you might have to go deeper. But the first oh. two things that you got to look at are the hands in the picture as well as, like, hair. That sounds like how to point out a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I'm just saying, AI has a hard time creating hands. And being an artist, everybody knows that drawing hands and just creating hands, for some reason, is the hardest fucking thing to do. Yeah. But AI will fuck up hands. They will fuck up. They, the hair will look a little too smooth and flowy at certain parts. And if you zoom in, sometimes they got multiple pupils. Those are like little details in the eye. In the eye. Yeah. And those are details that when I look at like a picture that looks too smooth and too like authentic, zoom in. What if they ain't got hands? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's a, that's a telltale sign right there. Like, like don't this. put no hands in. It's like, oh, y'all tripping. So now you got to go to the head. Now you got to go. Like a lot of times, man. Like, it's like trying to find out if this is a girl or not. Yeah. Like this picture I'm looking at right now, that looks AI. Oh, yeah. With them niggas with the shiny heads. Yeah. Like it don't even like. Even the Trump it, is AI in that motherfucker. Exactly. Like look at his hair. Look how smooth, like, <laughs> it look like motion blur. You know, that nigga hair don't be looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real. Like, even the, even Photoshop hair so look, it look better than that. Can't, you can't even bring this shit to court be like, sir, look at my hands. Look at them look hands. At, look at, that is not me. I'm telling you, like, sometimes the hands be, like, merged together and it's, like, cracked. Like, it's, like, you know what I'm saying? They look like... It's, it's really freaky, man. I'm telling you, like them AI right now. AI is right working on this shit. Like, all right, we know yeah, about the hands. Right, we yeah. getting it together. All right, we gonna get it together. Well, you see them dolls we put together. You know, <laughs> we do some fucking hands today. Y'all ain't got it. I don't know so. what the hands look like. Do them dolls have hands? Which dolls? The sex dolls. Huh? Like the? Because like, I was just thinking about AI hands. Like, do them dolls have hands? The realistic dolls? Yeah. Like the real ones. The ones. Yeah, the ones like, like ten Instagram. bands. Yeah, they got real hands. Their hands no, look I'm perfect. Like, are they? How you know? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, nah, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying, like they are perfect. Like they get. That's making hands out of. They're making. They're making. Of course, dogs. they have them. They're perfect. No, but they're 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 perfectly modeled because they're using. They're made out of latex. They're made out of like. <laughs> They're they're made out of human like actual like human hands. hands. They're molded. That is what I'm t- trying to think of. They're molded. Yeah, and they got you know I ain't. First of all, I don't, I don't so, know something that uh, something that is something life, them. That, that is lifeless. <laughs> and, and you don't just to, want the legs like I, Dave. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, bro. Hiding the legs in the closet, and hanging out, you know. I can't do it. It's just not know, me. Man. My wife leave me. I might get on the payment plan. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna be out here. Just gonna be out here. She better not leave me because I, I I don't know what I would do. I don't know. I need her in my life. I need my wife. Oh, <laughs> this nigga. Speaking of being down bad, uh, these Canadian <laughs> niggas is down bad. Who? Canadian niggas. So. <laughs> A 33-year-old man, uh, Tony Sphere, 
deceived two men by making them believe that they were communicating with a woman online. Okay. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, somebody at work who said they did that shit to motherfuckers. Was out here catfishing niggas? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. To be like a put a picture up and then like get all the messages and then throw their real picture on there and then screenshot the shit and you know what I'm saying? What? Real, real fucked up shit. What you mean? So Say that again? They would act like they were somebody else, mm-hmm. get the messages and shit from them, then change it to their real picture, then screenshot the shit, and then like kind of blackmail them with it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. that's a stupid, yeah, so some real man. scumbag shit. So anyway, so subsequently invited them to his house in Canada for anonymous sexual encounters through a makeshift barrier with a sheet and a hole. So. Motherfucker was like had I, I guess like a sheet here and just had the ass out. It was just like <laughs> come hey, in. I'm, I'm into this, yeah. Come in the house and just, yeah, just some bullshit like glory hole shit. Yeah. And two niggas fell for it. Probably more, but these two niggas came forward. You know more niggas was over there than this. But anyway, it came to light when one of the men just like Took the sheet down like, hey, I want to see. Come to find out it's a whole dude. Back there looking like, hey, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Hiding uh, <laughs> hiding on the floor. Oh, they was fucking on the floor. Wearing a black wig as part of his disguise. So, nigga got convicted of two counts of sexual assault and was sentenced to uh, 28 months in prison. And he had to register as a sex offender. I don't think he should go to jail. I think these two niggas were fucking stupid and they got what they deserve. This is a real live case of play stupid games, win stupid prizes. How the fuck you going to go to somebody house she met on the internet and put your dick in a hole? <laughs> put your dick through a hole through a hole. Look, I understand glory hole culture and all that shit, but nigga, what, what are we doing? I, I I don't know, man. I I don't have anything to say there. I I really don't even understand it all. Like, you don't understand? No, I I don't understand it all. Like the whole situation, I'm just not. Yeah, I don't know. Does this make you uncomfortable? Gay uh, sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Like hey, like everybody fuck funny to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't worried about like everybody is is, is different. But like the I just don't understand it. I don't understand how they got like. I don't know, man. I can't Trick. explain. That. I don't understand how. Like, I'm just. I don't know. I don't have. Some I don't have. Niggas. I don't have a word in the topic. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, I don't, okay. I don't, have a, I don't have a comment. I'm like, you don't understand. Some thirsty yeah. niggas went in there and stuck their dicks in some holes. That's, that's wild. That's not wild. I said that's wild. That's, oh, okay. that's all I got to say. Okay. You you you're uncomfortable, man? No, I'm just. I don't, Sodomy is a source. I have, I have nothing for that. I have nothing for that topic. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you for sharing. <laughs> That's fucked Today, up. That's crazy. You have been the worst co-host ever. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I ain't been. Scared. <laughs> That's not true, by the way. I know, nigga. Oh, well, then it is true, man. I don't know <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we gonna get into sports a little bit. The ESPN came out a lit with a list. And they ranked all the sports by degree of difficulty. And I was like, huh. I didn't look at it like, I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. But um, now this shit is super small. I know I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pull this shit up on my phone. So they ranked the. Uh, I ain't got no internet. It won't load for me. They graded it by um, endurance. You can stone cold these, I guess. Endurance. What? Strength. What? Power. What? Speed. What? Agility. What? Flexibility. What? Nerve. What? Hand-eye coordination. What? Analytic aptitude. What? Yeah, that was it. So, and it was um, how many? Sixty sports. Need your glasses. 
Nah, this shit's small as hell, man. Uh, I'm just asking. I'm trying to help you I don't you wear out. glasses, nigga. I'm not you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though my old ass might be my, my sight might be going somewhere. You got to put on your readers. I don't have reader glasses, man. <laughs> That's you're, you're not pro- gonna put me in the fucking. You, no, I'm speaking positivity. You're not gonna put that on me, Ricky Bobby. You you will I wish that you evil. will probably need readers. How the fuck you? What you know what I'm? I mean, need? I'm, I'm glasses, watching. Man, bro, I've had glasses my whole life. I know. <laughs> I've had glasses my whole life. I, I, so I'm I telling understand. you, the way you're squinting right now, even at that, bro, you see screen, how small this fucking print is. I don't see it. You don't see it. I don't have it up. It just won't pull up. Oh, me. so you just talking shit. You don't even know don't what I'm looking it. at? I I, I'm just saying the way they're just squinting. Look how small all... that print is. Oh, zoom in. What the fuck you think I was trying to do? It wouldn't let me. Oh, did you double tap? Yes. Our tire. Because that's what they use. You know what I'm saying? That's how they do it. Oh, oh it worked look at now. That. Oh, it worked. It didn't work before. Oh. It didn't work before. Right. Get out of my face, nigga. <laughs> I'm just going to use this contraption. Anyway. It's darn on phone. Fuck you, four eyes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so, reading the list, was there any sport that surprised you like? I didn't see the list. <laughs> I'm not letting you know. It You're not looking on the thing? Oh. It's it, on the- are you put it in the group? Like, it wouldn't. Uh... I was clicking on the link. I didn't have it. Okay. I don't have it uh, to look at. Well, how about this, sir? I will share it to you. Because I'm just going to let you know right now, this is all that's popping up for me. So first, my crib, Dusty. Now, I ain't got no internet. No, no. Okay. I mean, the internet was uh, working just fine. I'm sending it to you. There you go, sir. Oh, that's your personal. Yes, it's my personal. (laughs) It's your personal runner show. So how the fuck would I... All right, let's go. Yeah, I sent the link. Mm -hmm. The link didn't work. Why ain't work? We've already established that. Was it my fault the link didn't work? I don't know who fault it was, nigga. I'm just saying it didn't work. It wasn't work. mine. I didn't blame you. you I you didn't blame to. you. I'm telling you that it wasn't me. Okay. It's like we in the car. That's not my dope. <laughs> 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 I didn't say who it was. It ain't mine. I, I, sir, I didn't say it was your dope. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. It's not my dope. Ahead of time. In case you thought it was my dope, I'm letting you know it wasn't my dope. It ain't my dope. You ain't going to find my fingerprints on it, sir. I don't know whose it is. I just know it's not mine. This ain't my car. <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. It, 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 it's actually my mama's name. So it ain't mine. <laughs> no, nigga, I'm in the passenger seat like, this ain't my car. That ain't my dope. Wait, who was? Who, so who was driving? There's nobody in the driver's seat, sir. Like, hey, listen. I don't know where that nigga went. AI. <laughs> I'm fucking uh, Kelsey and shit. <laughs> but yeah. So out of this, I was surprised that golf was so low and snowboarding. I mean, skateboarding was so low. I think they had golf at like 30. Boxing is the number one ranked. That's fair. Yeah, <laughs> but where's like your life is on the line, my where, nigga. Where's like MMA though? Because I feel like MMA is like right under it. No, it ain't. Ice hockey is right underneath it. Well, it's in martial arts. That's like six down. Yeah, wrestling, basketball, football, ice hockey. Because a lot of them, them other ones is team sports. So I see how they did it. Like the team sports are kind of harder because you rely on everything just working together. Yeah, other motherfuckers doing their job. Yeah. In boxing, you know, you could fucking I mean, die. You gonna get your uh, ass whooped. That's a, that, I, I mean, that is probably one of the, the next to MMA because I feel like boxing, all the power is in hands, bro. Like even with like martial, uh, not martial arts, but like martial arts, of course, is definitely. I feel like the top three would be boxing, MMA, martial arts, martial arts. The only reason I feel like that would get a pass because of the level of, of what is it, uh, discipline that you're at. Because like, you're not, I, I feel like in martial arts, you're really most of the time not trying to hurt anybody. You're just trying to show off the ability that, hey, if I really want to hurt you, I can hurt you. Yeah. But like, mar- like but uh, MMA, mixed martial arts, <clears throat> it's. It's like I can see why, they, to, why it's not higher because 
there's some luck that goes into that shit too. Like, oh, that nigga slipped. <laughs> I can break his arm now. Well, act like I'm breaking his arm and then he can tap out. Boxing, bro, you kind of just in that shit. Oh, boxing got to be number one. I ain't arguing boxing number one. Like, in the one. knockout, <laughs> like, you know, MMA can like, end like way quick. You got 12 rounds? MMA, you can use your legs. Yeah. Boxing, it is all here. It's a bigger. It is here. The ring is bigger in MMA. <laughs> So is it just like the most agility? Like it's ranked on agility and everything. Like what endurance, is... strength, power, speed, agility, nerve. Yeah, yeah that's why. So I'm... I can see why. I can see why boxing's won. Ice hockey, yeah, that's fucking hard. But I thought yeah. golf would be harder. But I guess they like, man, that's a nigga in some khakis. Now. Golf is although it's all mental, but that's all on you. As fuck though, golf is like a motherfucker. <coughs> like, as they say, if you my, fifty years old, it can do that shit at the high level, hurting, bro. I was like, I didn't even know I needed to do all these like back exercise because, like, you technically you see a lot of like, like you say, you say a bunch of motherfuckers in khakis or uh, yeah. like, like some of them. Or most of them you see that just be out there on the golf course, be like the dudes yeah. with the big bellies, and they just like, ha, oh, you know, cigars and smoking, they look unhealthy. Philly but they Nicholson. be rocking the <laughs> shit out of that ball like, all, and, and, and going. And it's I see like, why it's lower. Like, uh, if a nigga in his 50s could do this shit at a high level, nah. You, not, you, don't, you ain't <laughs> yeah. getting up here with boxing. Yeah. And fucking basketball. Even though Mike Tyson is going to do an exhibition uh, uh, fight with uh, Jake Paul. You know what I'm saying? You know Jake Paul is going to be like having so many talks with this nigga beforehand. Just <laughs> Please like, don't lose nah, yourself. Not even that. Just like, hey, Mike, how you doing? Everything okay? You get the weed I sent you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we training over here. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be, be fun. fun. Yeah. I'll, I mean, if he just knows, if he knows what's good for him, he won't hit him for real. Yeah. You hit him for real. (laughs) Oh. You just won't hit him for real. (laughs) But that's the thing, though, with this motherfucker. This will only be the second boxer that he's faced. The other boxer, he got his ass kicked. Who? He fought. um, Are you talking about Jake Paul? Yeah. He fought. uh, What's he called? His brother. Tyson Fury's brother. He fought his brother and got his ass kicked. Okay. Everybody else he fought was mixed martial arts, a uh, old basketball player, an old football player that was but in this shit. But this is an exhibition. They've all been like, exhibitions. But like, why is it? Why? Like, is he just trying to have fun? Oh, like? because then you gotta if you you gotta get your boxing license. Oh, so he don't have all that. He's just shit. doing yeah, yeah, shit yeah. for. That's why they exhibitions and shit. Okay, he's just so, doing shit for yeah. like the like the, me and you could do an expedition. I mean, an ex- expedition, exhibition. Yeah. But like, if we wanted to like have a boxing match like that, we would have to have boxing licenses and shit, register our hands, lethal weapons, and gotcha. go through all that. He ain't yeah. Trying with to this, do you could that. just do that shit and be like, "Hey, no knockouts." Even though he knocked out a few niggas. Yeah. Because you know, if it happens, it happens. But <laughs> he, now he Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I could go toe to toe. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking, yeah. All right, but whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pay to see that or steal it. I don't know. Depending it's going to be on Netflix. Oh, well. It's free. Yeah, I'll, I'll be using my mom's Netflix. All right, man. Yeah, you don't, kill, you don't come out and kick with me no more, man. Like, I when last time you invited me somewhere? Nigga. And I ain't go. Are you serious? When last time you invited me somewhere and I ain't go? All right. What do you mean? I invited you out Saturday. Bro, the day the, the day before work, and my hold on, hold on. I, I, One thing, uh, I was uh, had brave uh, by myself, uh, uh, so I couldn't fucking go nowhere. All right, but you just asked when was last time? Bro, shut the fuck up, me. man! <laughs> you can't do it. Did I not just say it? <laughs> okay, when, all, when was the time that, before that, then? Those happen a lot. When, that happens a lot. Yeah. When, when was always, the other time it happened? There's always a. Ah, yeah, no, I can't do that. I can't, ooh, I got this. I oh, got you mean that. like Friday when I invited you out? What do you mean? Oh, what do I mean? Like last Friday when I invited you out, the day before you invited me out? Are you talking about to, uh, Steve House? Oh, yeah. Oh, he was like randomly like, hey, what what, what you doing tomorrow? Like, I was uh, randomly, 
Well, did you randomly invite me? Bro. Well, what's the difference? Hey, hey. Oh, you doing that? Do okay. you do we want okay. you wanna go there? We can go, go there. there. Bro. What? My nigga. How far it take how how far is it for me to get from my house to yo to to, to the studio? Not to where we record. Not an okay. Hour. Add thirty to that. Okay. To get to where you invited me to. Oh, hold on, you hold doing on, that? Hold on, no, listen. Hold on, listen. G. Hold okay, on, listen. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold on, go listen. Ahead. Go ahead, listen. go ahead, go ahead. And then on top of that, it was a it was the day before, mm-hmm. and I was all so that means that I had already driven somewhere out. I, I've already driven I didn't that ask out. For no explanation. I know why you. No, yes, come you out. did ask for the explanation. No, you I said, didn't. nigga, you said, yeah, we can get it to, we can explain. I said, do you really want to go there? So I'm going to explain. I thought you were talking about other times that I did it, nigga. Nigga. Nigga, I know why you couldn't come out. Okay, so all the other times, nigga, I ain't never. Just name one. I ain't never came. Uh, if you invite me somewhere, I'm always at. I've always. I'm talking been about there. you invited me somewhere, and I was like, nah, I ain't going. Nigga, there's been times where when I been like, hey, there's you want to come out? The time before that, when? Where were y'all going? What day was it? I, 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 Did I have work the next so, day? So here's where that makes it an unfair or even just like, uh, it's not even an argument because it's not even a discussion. It's not even- You a, brought it up. No, I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> this because of the fact that it's literally at the point now because it happens so often. I'm not saying that it happens all the time. I'm not saying that You said so time. often and then you said not all the time. Nigga, what the fuck? Because, That's the same shit. Well, you want me to fucking say it? All right, go ahead. All right, so let me finish, and then then you will get what I'm saying. It happened so often that it is a common thing to be like, all right, you know what? No, I'm not going to ask or invite or do this because you're not going to want... Because if a motherfucker know your your, your process and how you move, nigga ain't going to ask you to come out. Or go do this. Because it's like, hey, if you got to do this, like, for you, <clears throat> nigga, you don't like to drive. Everybody know this. There's not, not one friend of yours that knows, that, that doesn't know, that you don't like to have and yet, to drive and yet I all do the way out. And yet I do and, it. And, See, that's the bullshit, though. That's the bullshit. You will do it. I'm not saying that you won't do it. I'm not saying that you won't do it. That's the bullshit that you're saying, though. But the time, you will say, hey, I got some other shit going. you are double fucking talking. The majority of the time, I say, I, I got some shit going. Yeah. Can't do this because, uh, you know, because I got shit. Wife to do. got this. And See, you presented this shit as if I had, as if you could invite any place, and I just be like, no. Nah. Oh no, you said you felt that way. You said that. I never said that. This is how you presented it. Nah, how I presented it is one. Well, you pre- like, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, did all right, I say right. those exact words? All right. Did I say that? Smells like gas in here, but no, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, look at you. You got can see it on your face. You full of, all right, all right. I'm going to let it go because, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not finna argue a moot that, point. We're just at the end. You're going to be what, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, look see? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Motherfucker give me up no. here and then just be like, no. okay. Moving on. Hey, I might not <laughs> be able to get hands right, but I do, nigga. What's up? <laughs> You know you've been working out. You know you've been you know in the gym. You know what I'm saying, doing your thing. I got you. I'm not gonna fight you, man. <laughs> oh, I know. See, <laughs> <laughs> when you say shit like that, <laughs> <laughs> I just said I know. I ain't go- you, you you've been super passive aggressive. This uh, maybe this is the way I'm taking it, but yeah. the way that you saying shit sounds very passive aggressive. I'm sorry uh, that you feel threatened by what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't feel threatened. I feel, it's, it's, I feel it's, a little. It's, it's, I feel straight, a little. Uh, straightforward, bro. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I ain't said nothing that was threatening. I ain't said nothing. You that ain't, was no, you ain't said nothing threatening. Offensive. I I haven't said anything like of that nature. You, 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 got you a said lot of it this, and whistles. I said, I know. You got a lot of dog whistles that I hear. <laughs> that's, that's a oh, that's shit. a you thing. That ain't me. That's a you. That's on that you. Me. That's not on me. You ain't saying nothing? I ain't saying nothing. Ain't nothing underhanded? Not not, not even a little bit. You not calling me a bitch? 
not those words come out? Did I say anything like that? Did I say you didn't have anything to. close to that? No. <laughs> hey, you didn't have to. All right. <laughs> now I look crazy. <laughs> I ain't messing you. How the fuck do we get on this? I don't know. Like, You're talking J- about to get invited somewhere. Oh, yeah. No, you just brought that ass. You're talking you about the fight. You was like, you don't fuck with me, no. Oh, because you said we was going to uh, we was gonna watch the fight. I was like, shit. I will try to watch it out about me, but you don't like coming out that way. That was a feeling that I felt as homies. I was but like, I never said that, though. So, you see what I'm saying? Hey, hey like, okay, so it, 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 what I really meant from that was so that, there was some underlying shit. I wasn't no, 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 no. It wasn't. No, it ain't no underlying shit. <laughs> you said what I really meant. I, no, I'm talking about after all that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about what I meant when I said that mm-hmm. was that it's not necessarily that you don't come out because you will come out. It's for you. It just feels like there's a lot of stipulations that you gotta like align with. Like no, for real, Name for real, son. bro. Like for you to come out, it gotta be the perfect situation. You gotta have like wifey that says, okay, like no, the kids gotta be over here, or I ain't like, or uh, I gotta be here, and you know what I'm saying we gotta be here at this certain time because like it's like if you come and you got the family, it's gonna be all right. We gotta break out before the fight, or think about it. Anytime you go out late and you got the whole family with you, bro, you ain't staying out past a certain time, and then you like. Hey, I gotta go. <laughs> it's like, but this, yes. this thing, ain't, and that's fair. So it's like, but you're not finna sit up here and say the perfect situation. And you talking about with my family? Well, whole time I'm just a married dude because if we doing that, nigga, you got mad stipulations of going out and shit, and when you got to do shit. So it's just like, why are you bringing this up with me? Like it don't go with you too. What like you, you not no married dude, and you ain't got no fucking. Oh, it got to line up this way for me to do some shit. Fair. Okay, so why are you trying I, to make I, it like I, it's just me? No, because all I'm saying yeah, you is you like, didn't fucking do that. No, because if I say that I'm if I if I come out to your crib, mm-hmm. then I make the either arrangements or I will say, okay, you know what? In order for me to do this, I'm going to do this to be able to make this, mm-hmm. and and that's just fair. Like, and and I ain't saying that what you do ain't fair. And I and like, being a family man ain't never a problem. You already know that. So being a family man ain't the problem. And it ain't no problem. And it's by just, you know, no, 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 no. We clean this up. And by you knowing that shit, what do you say anyway? Hey, bring your wife and bring your kid. Come on, we'll do the whole thing, knowing what the shit is <laughs> and knowing that she got a bedtime. So we not doing that now. If you said, "Hey, you just come," you know what time it is. By by you inviting the rest of my family, you know what the fuck it is. Hey, so we're not finna sit up here and act like it got to be the no, perfect and, situation. And, 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 and that circumstance is not that. It's like. In that circumstance, I just want to know. It is like, how, I, got how I got the blanket statement with all this shit. It's not a, when I be down with shit all the time, and I, you just making it seem all, like I don't think it's all the time though. But it is these situations that you bringing up is bullshit, and they <laughs> apply to you too. And hey, you trying to make it seem like it's just me. No, and that's it, the that's the that. underlying shit that I'm hearing, and that you saying. No, it's and you not trying that. to make me like I'm crazy. It's not that. I don't think it's that. I because I. Like, because I agree with you. I do have those same stipulations. So why the fuck are you but saying like, the problem you, with me? No, because of the fact that the matter is like, A, if we have one of these situations, I, if you decide to say, hey, look, I'm coming dolo or I got to do this, that's fine. I want you to stop thinking for me. I ain't just thinking for that. you. You're wrong. You just said it. You just said it a minute ago. Well, like, all this shit that you're saying it's, is recorded. It's not thinking for you. It's, 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 it's. Taking into consideration the fact that if this is the way you move, then I'll say, yeah, all right, cool. He ain't going to want to do this or he ain't going to want to do that. And I all know right, that man. might sound, and that might come That's off the as, same shit that, that, that might come off as thinking for you. I'm sorry. It ain't no money. It, it, it does. It, it, it's it a, is. But if that is the, if that is the, the pattern, then it's respecting the pattern. It's respecting you. Bro, you full of shit. It's respecting it, it, you. You full of shit. You Bro, double talk. You full of shit. You double talking. You. you putting shit on me that you also do. Well, I'm and also, making it seem like I'm it's also just not me. trying to just be all out, like, you know what I'm saying? Saying because like I don't want it to be perceived by me explaining some shit. Because if if everybody's listening, don't know what I'm talking about, then it could be perceived in some way. So I'm not no trying shit. to be, So I'm not trying to say something. So uh, <laughs> 
We can talk offline, like at a meeting, like at work. Bro, you brought all this shit up. No, I'm saying like it's not the. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's not about who brought it up or not. I'm saying if we if we had if we had to explain okay. it, if you need an explanation, it's like I'm not trying to say anything. I don't need an explanation. Wild. I'm trying to get you because you're saying some shit and this shit ain't right. So I need you to clear that shit up with an explanation since we doing this shit on the mic. Because all right, which part wasn't then I clear up? You cleared so it up. Okay, all right, you cleared right, it okay. up. But when you first say the shit, it's just like nah, nigga, you gonna have okay. to explain that shit because that's bullshit. Okay, yeah. Okay, we good. <laughs> you're not just gonna say some shit and leave it out there I, I didn't I, I wasn't planning on like saying some shit and leaving it out there bro, but I'm this glad this shit all but, came but, full but, circle yeah. though it all came full circle cause I'm like look man I, mean, I hear what you saying and nah and it's cleared up <laughs> I love you bro I love you too man you full of shit <laughs> oh, I love you, you. you full of shit I'm full of shit yeah how we then that to take us going down a whole other thing. If we got to keep we going, you can't like say you said, shit. We going full circle. You can't if say I'm full stuff. Shit, you and, full and of shit. You can't if make I'm a full statement. Of shit, you full of shit. It's all I'm saying. If I'm full of shit, you full of shit. I'm not. I'm not right, bringing up shit and like making accusations about you, and then just leaving them. There. I didn't make. I didn't try to make accusations. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't try to make accusations. I was trying to just say. What I can't wait to hear this back. <laughs> I'd probably be like, oh, yeah, whatever, but... Yeah, I know. That was good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. uh, Getting into it. Is that okay? Can we call it that? You got something to say about that? (laughs) What's going on? I know we have to name the episode and shit. All right, man. Uh, What is it? Are you put on here uh Miami on the spring break shit? Yeah, man. Miami said they said, hey man, fuck that shit. We done. We breaking up with y'all spring breakers, man. And that shit is a long time's a coming. <laughs> Are you happy about it? Hell yeah. I don't even be there like that, but I just see it. I was about to say, you been there during spring break? Mm-mm. But the thing is, it's like it fucks up even wanting to go during spring break because that shit ain't fun no more. If every time you go anywhere, nigga, I don't give a fuck if it's Miami, Chicago, New York, Cali, wherever. If I can't go there and like have fun without a bunch of motherfuckers wanting to fight and terrorize and fucking fuck shit up just because you young and free, like that shit is wild. Like that yeah. shit is dumb. I don't want to be nowhere where like it's motherfuckers a, gotta live here. A bunch of uh People under 30 congregating and drinking. Yeah. I'm straight. Yeah, it's because, like, at this point, and you, of all people, like, and I ain't trying to, like, put your shit No, you're right. But, like, you, you right. like, and, and all the stories we didn't share and all that shit, like, yo, when you're in your 20s, that shit, it feels like. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. You invincible at times. You feel like, yo, like, Super. can't nobody take me down. Yeah. Like, I fuck all this shit up. Shout out to our homie Jordan. That motherfucker had a point, and he's. If you notice and talk to Jordan as he's grown, like that motherfucker is starting to, you start to see the age. Yeah. He starts to realize like, yeah, that shit was, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kind of like out here, but. Yeah, yeah, he's still doing like his, his motorcycle shit. Yeah, but like, you know what I'm saying? He and slowed down. He ain't terrorizing down. niggas no Yeah, more. he slowed down because like before it was like, nigga, I can I can argue, I can take everybody oh, on. Oh, yeah. Up pole, anytime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo. And yo, big shout out to him, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because there's like a lot. Like, it, it takes that that growth, and I understand that. Like, yeah, if you in your development. if you in your early 20s and you just free and you just like can't nobody, you the most healthiest you probably gonna be. I don't know. <laughs> you you in shape? Can you can take on the world? And you go to these things and you just like shit. I ain't even really trying to have fun. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to just create havoc. Oh, I ain't never went nowhere. It was like, I'm trying to, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no. Yeah, no, I was going to say, true. bro, there's a time where motherfuckers like literally was like, yo, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go in the first nigga to say something wrong. I don't even care if it's fully wrong. I'm going. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit is just like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, yo, like, we trying to just enjoy life. 
We trying to go take to these that same shit to places. Panama City, man. <laughs> no, take that shit like I don't know. Keep that shit secluded in your own little space. No, no, away Panama from City. All shit. They, they used to that shit. They like that shit down there. They equipped for that shit. Yeah, take that shit over there. But Miami Beach, like that shit is like, yo, nah, we've been there. There's too many rich and niggas we, over there for y'all to fuck that up. Gee, like the whole the whole block, the whole shit. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I yeah. saw that shit last year and the year before that in, in the COVID year, too. Like, that shit was crazy. I was like, it made me not even want to go to Miami and shit. I was like, is, is that how they kicking it in now or is it just that spring break? But I'm straight on I'm straight yeah. on any spring break, man. Yeah. Back in my day, <laughs> we just wanted to I'm straight on fuck. all that shit. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> even Freak Nick probably wasn't crazy like that. <laughs> Freak nigga was still doing this thing. There was a couple of niggas that was doing this shit. Not all y'all. Not all all y'all on bullshit. Bro, a place that is damn near insured for like hurricane level damage said, hey, listen. <laughs> y'all niggas is doing, <laughs> y'all, doing y'all too niggas much. worse than a fucking hurricane. Nah, fuck We that. can't even do this. Back in my day. Like, fuck that shit. Get y'all asses like, hey. I think Joe Budden said it. Couldn't even imagine. Get y'all asses out of here. Like, (laughs) take y'all asses back. Don't come here. I don't even live there. All right, man. We're going to shout out our old hometown radio station, GCI, on this. They got a segment called Love Them or Leave Them. And uh, they already went through their thing on this topic. Um, Should we clip it in or should I just describe it? What do you think? Let's clip it in. All right, clip it in. You want to show love? Clip it. We go. Dear Leon and Zach, so I can't get into detail because this case is still open and pending, but to make a long story short, I got into some legal trouble and was facing some real time. I can't get into the details, but I was going to have to sit down for a long time. So I got a lawyer and he was preparing me to take a plea plea deal. Well, the way things turned out, my wife knew the judge. They used to go to high school together and she said she would call him and see what she could do. I can't believe I'm telling y'all this. But my wife slept with the judge, and now I won't have to go to jail, and he's just giving me probation. When I asked my wife about it, she said she she did what she had to do to keep me free and not to bring it up anymore. But it's really bothering me. I can't take it. Is she a hero or a hate you All right, so with that being said, I got two questions. One. Would you be cool in that you in the same situation as dude? Would you be cool with your wife doing that? And two, if so, what's the aftermath for that shit? Like on your side. Cause she did say, hey, first of all, you cool with that situation. Man, we that's a tough one, man. That's a real tough one. Time. I I think that the, like how my body working, how me and how me <laughs> mentally working, like I'll be like, oh, I'm so glad that I'm free, <laughs> and I'm glad that you you know what I'm saying did something. But down the line, I'm like, what is it at what cost though? You know what I'm saying, like your butthole virginity. Like, what <laughs> she saved it, nigga. Could have been in jail, been somebody nigga. That's not necessarily like. I could have. Come on, man. I mean, the other alternative is you could have been in jail. She'd have fucked that nigga anyway. True. It's almost like shit. Would you be with her either way? So with that same analogy, if that same thought process is like, all right, if she did that and he was in jail and she did it, she did it and you out of jail. <laughs> Would you still be with her? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so you oh, like you can be with her. I mean, I don't know if I can look at the same like because of the fact that he's gonna hold that over, you know, the both of us at this point. How you never have to see this nigga again? Unless you get in some more trouble, have to see the fucking judge. But he can continue to bring it. It's like we what we talked about earlier about the, the like the superhead shit. It's like niggas can be vicious, bro. Like niggas can make sure. That it, but no the, matter how you change your life, no matter where you are in your life now. The reason why he couldn't do that shit 
is because he would go to jail. Yeah, but he can't put you back in jail. But the fact no, no, no. That he's still he up. would go to jail if you if he wanted to get on that shit and you have proof of him getting on that shit. You could send that shit up, and he's fine. He he not only loses his judgeship, he's going to fucking jail. Why well, shit? I would do it anyway. <laughs> you wow. <laughs> send that nigga up anyway. Oh, you wow. doing this? So so you oh, couldn't have just looked out for bad. me, but you had to smash to do this. Oh well, send that. See, shit that's up. how I know you still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. Send him to jail too. You send, a send dirty nigga, G. D. I am who I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, like, really? Like, the only reason he had any compassion for you is because he got to smash your girl. Okay. So, yeah. No, nigga. I, I honestly, like, hey. Because, like, if it wasn't for her, if it wasn't for you get her giving that up. Bro, you got to. Hold on, man. You just got a blessing. And you get you gonna shit on the nigga to bless you? Are you talking? You, you talking about Not on her sitting on You're him. talking about if he wants to come back and say something. You or are you talking about in general? You like fuck that nigga. <laughs> low key, yeah. You sending it up like that? You low down, G. <laughs> you low down, damn. I mean, because like if you think about it, like yo. You like you call it a blessing, but it's also like it's a doggy dog world, nigga. Like, yo, if you was you risked your job to do this based on, you know, what I'm saying a, a a a sexual act. I'm trying to see. Are you are you explaining to me your thought process of fucking this guy over? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Cause it's like, yo. If she didn't step in, uh-huh. you would have been like on some like fuck this nigga. He going here. He ain't doing that. You'd had no sympathy for me. You are a criminal, my nigga. You are a fucking criminal. And you I? got caught doing some shit. Did he get caught? Like did he actually do yes. it? Yes. Was like oh <laughs> yes. Oh well, that's different. My oh, you thought he was innocent? Yeah. No, I thought he was just on some. No, like, I didn't really do nothing. He was like, doing. He was doing shit. Oh. He's a fucking criminal. Oh, well, yeah. That's okay, like, that's damn, nigga. If I was doing some light work and you just trying to send me off to, like, do the max of this. Okay, that makes more sense. You thought dude was innocent. Yeah, I thought he was, nah. like, or not even innocent, but, like, he didn't deserve to, you know, do the time that he was doing. But the, the, the judge was, like, trying to be hard on him. You nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't even get that far. Oh. This what he was, he okay. was facing time. And okay. Before the sentencing. Gotcha. Motherfucker stepped in and shit. Like I'm like you bogus. Oh yeah, well that's different. <laughs> all right, so that's different. All right, I, I, all right. So I, I okay, 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 okay. I'll take that back. But going back to her, mm-hmm. it is still like a. But just to be clear, you're not ruining his life though. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Because yeah, that's different. If I actually did that shit, then it's like you actually like looking out. For you looked out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> but it also is kind of like you know what I'm saying. Um, that's a tough decision to be like the 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 woman that you like. I don't know. I think at this big age, you kind of have to look past a lot of that shit, like the sexual acts and like all that shit, uh, because of the fact that. I don't want to say it's like a maturity thing. I think that it, you have to be it's able It's definitely to, a maturity thing. You have to be able to see that like, yo, there's a level of love that she was like, yo, like, nigga, I'm trying to keep you out of jail. Like, I, I just gave this. You putting the value on this in the sanctity uh, mm-hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, of our, like, marriage and us. That's one thing, but it's like when you just like when you look at it as like, all right, well, it's just a act that you did. Hey, hey, man, I could, I think somewhere down the line, you could possibly look past that and be like, yeah, it, it is. Thank you for you know looking out for me. Just make sure you stay. You know, are, are we still true to each other, or is this something you're gonna have to read? Hey, she said like, hey, don't. Them? I don't want to hear about this shit. Don't bring it up again. Yeah. So. She 
Man, this yeah, woman is move, a fucking saint. Yeah, move far away from that and just move she, away. She's thought, a yeah. fucking saint. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go ahead and... Sometimes pride and shit can get in your way, though, man. Like, that shit can hurt. Like, when you start thinking... And you, when you know the male ego, we know this shit, bro. Like, we know how it is being around niggas mm-hmm. and being like... You let your girl do what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all those little talks can yeah. fuck with your head real I, quick. I don't... I'm not boosy or none of that shit. I don't fuck with that. I, I've kind of cut my ego and all that shit down because I think I said this shit before on the show. That shit don't help. Mm-hmm. That shit only causes problems. Cause you be in jail and fights and all type of shit. Put your life and family in danger. So I'm trying my best yeah. to throw that shit away and put that shit down. Man, this woman's a fucking saint. She got me out of fucking jail. Yeah. Kept me from doing like 20 or some shit like that. Yeah. You'll never hear a peep from my ass. I will be attending therapy immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, because, you know, it's going to be there somewhat, but fuck But that. what does that, though, look like, though? When you say don't hear a peep, because that's a that's a big, uh, a, a big question or a big uh, statement to make. Because... Well, I just did something big for you, so I'm asking you for something big back. Like, fuck you talking So about? does that mean that... Don't ever bring this shit up. I can do that, right? Yeah. But what does that mean for the relationship? Like, what does that mean, like, moving forward? We moving forward, nigga. The fuck? Like, we, does, that, we does, does that mean that you can't ever argue about shit? Oh, no. You, does yeah. that mean that you can't ever? I took, I took uh, <laughs> don't ever bring that? this up, but, like, this, we, we going about, like, regular business. We can argue about other shit, you know what I'm saying? But we, this part is... In the box of my mama's titties. <laughs> the only way can open this motherfucking Jacku stole, nigga. Yeah, 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 It's like one of them things where it's just like, niggas don't talk. About, like, this will never be brought up ever That's fine. again. That's fine. But what does the rest of that relationship look like as far as you being either the the the, the dominant leader or the, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean... As far as like relationship goes, like how does that look for you going forward? Like she go out with friends or she move the way she want to move? Like do y'all start to do y'all create boundaries as a relationship? Because those are I think it's going to be like however the relationship was before. Let's try to keep it like that, especially by you making that statement like bury this shit. So first of all, I got to stop being a criminal. (laughs) <laughs> so, because so, this can't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This might not work out. You gotta the same cut that way. shit out, yeah. and you know, from then on, just try to honor her commitment to that shit <laughs> by just like being a better nigga. But at the same time, you marry, so shit gonna happen. Just try not to make it no big shit, like no bitches, no outside kids, shit like that. Yeah, don't fuck up the money. You as long, I figure as long as you don't do them three things in the marriage, yeah. you straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't hit her, be disrespectful. You no know, regular shit. Did I, did I miss something? <laughs> no, no. I, mean, no, I don't do none of that shit, so I, I can't yeah. think of it. I mean, I'm just saying, like, because, like, that, that, that is the, that's probably one of my biggest questions is, like, well, what is your life and what does that relationship look like after an incident like that? Now, a lot of people don't care because, like, it is, like, even, like, for uh, exotic dancers or, uh, you know what I'm saying, adult uh Oh, like, like old um, porn stars? Or, yeah, all of that. Like, R.I.P. Jasmine Cashmere. But, like, <laughs> she didn't die. Like, like, well, don't, don't, don't say it like that. Are you, or you mean the character? Yes, the character. R.I.P. Yeah. Not a real name. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the character name. Bro. I was like, that's morbid as fuck, bro. Uh, but I'm saying, though. I miss <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> like, we don't use that word on this show. That's what you asked me. I was like, Are you uncomfortable? I was like, Look at I what? was being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, damn, you made me lose my train of thought. Anyway, man, but I like, was talking yeah. about how the relationship goes after that. Like, but yeah, that's why I, I got. I kind of was like thinking of like, okay, that's why I couldn't answer that question because I'm like, what does that relationship look like for me after that? That the dynamic. I the, think you should take a page every out of time. my answer and take your ass directly to therapy too, because you're gonna need that shit. Especially like, I mean, I, you will want therapy anyway. Just like going to talk to somebody is a normal thing. I'm saying you're gonna need it 
for this extreme situation. You can't <laughs> talk about this shit. You can't bring it up. You gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? You got all these motherfucking questions and shit. A lot of that shit got to do with yourself. Take that to a professional. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Take You're this right. shit to a professional. You're Don't right. bring that shit up in the house. You're right. You might get stole on or some shit, or she might go fuck that nigga again. <laughs> See? <laughs> So you being a bitch. I told you, you not to. I told access. you not to ask me that shit no more. I'll oh, yeah. be back. Or he might. He might really hold that shit over her head. Because like, if he, he did can't. it, he can't. No, he's going to jail. Like nobody goes I, to jail except for he, him he, he, if he brings that shit back up. But if he goes and say, "Hey, look, I got the power to bring some more shit back up." I got the power to do and say anything. He's. I need to see you again. To jail. I need to see you again. He's going to jail. Or or what if you and her, hey, I, I, I hear her up. I'm I'm, ba- I'm down bad, Nate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if she hit him with that like, shit? What if y'all go through like bro, financial shits? He's putting himself. At, he put. He already put himself at risk. If he if he want to get on some sinister shit, he's really putting himself at risk as an elected official trying to fucking uh blackmail a civilian. Oh uh, yeah, no, you right. Over the phone, like. Ain't no judge doing that shit. Nobody smart. So you worried about the get back? I don't think it's no get back. Just because that nigga was thirsty. <laughs> I mean, I get <laughs> that yeah. nigga was thirsty. You could have sent that nigga to jail and fucked it anyway. True. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm. I, I'll be eternally I, I'm grateful. Just like, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and stay with her, and you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna try not to give her no shit. Try, but yeah, you'll never hear that. nothing else about <laughs> that shit. Never on my death, baby. Like, uh, was it good? Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's different. All right, man. Can you be bought? Can you be bought? Mm, I got a few up here. Not a few. I'm gonna say, but like to choose from. Since we talked about this shit earlier. And we were talking about um, what you call that show, Love is Blind. And I said it yeah. was an emotional glory hole. Uh-huh. So for $5 million, would you use a yeah. real glory hole? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Off top. Yeah. You don't know what's behind it. Could be a, a dude, a goat. Here's just a hole. you just sticking your dick I mean, in it. $5 million is like... All right. Do you get a peek in there a little bit? No. <laughs> All right. Do I get it chopped off? How long do you have to do it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Five million dollars to make a nigga like really consider some shit, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. What if it's like a man butt back there? Well, I guess you'll never know. <laughs> you'll never know. You don't know. Cree said it off in the office. He was like, hey, yo, like, I, he went during during uh, Woodstock and all that. There was a rolling around in the mud. And oh, he yeah. Was like, yeah. He said, there's a lot of that's women. Different. He was like, a man or two could have slipped in all there. Right. So he wouldn't right. know. That's, that's what he said. <laughs> he wouldn't know. Okay, okay. Two million. Are you trying to go down on I'm nobody? trying to see what the threshold nah, is. This nah, is can you be bought. No, nah, five million is my, 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 like, Four million. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, can't do five it. Five million. Five million tax free. I can probably. I, I you ain't doing do it for four. No. Nah. You lying. <laughs> I ain't doing you it. You lying. You? Yeah, I'm doing it. For five? Uh, I'm probably doing it for one. <laughs> <laughs> probably? Yeah, I am doing it for one, matter so, of fact. So that means that. Uh, My bad. Got a text. My daughter got an earache. So, um, yeah, one million. I'm probably million. doing it. So, five, five, I'm definitely doing it. Five hundred thousand. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so oh, it's no. like you. Uh, so for if it ain't a million, so for nine hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Seven hundred thousand. Yeah. Six hundred thousand. Yeah. But then when it get so wait five hundred thousand is I don't know, but I'm probably still gonna do it. (laughs) Yeah, I'm probably doing for one two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, 
I'd probably do it for one. For for one hundred? Yeah. Fifty K. <laughs> 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 I'm going around the hole. Hey, listen, it's money. It's money. <laughs> as long as it don't kill me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm not filming this, are y'all? <laughs> and that's a whole different thing. It's like who got witness? Who witnessing this? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, nah. You filming it now? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, nah. What what is it gonna be on? Like the internet or it's the paywall? Be, it's gonna be your uh, OnlyFans. X videos for X life. X videos for life. Is my face in it? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> you a kid? Uh, no, I ain't gotta go back up to the five. <laughs> <laughs> so four ninety nine. Yeah. Yep. Four point nine. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all the four. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that shit. I'm just trying to, like, damn, I might have fucked my daughter up. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, yeah. Damn, yeah. <laughs> you started to rethink. I mean, shit happens. But the life man. that she gonna live with all uh, five million dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you some things. <laughs> if somebody approaches you with this situation, I advise you to do the same thing. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be a terrible dad if I did. <laughs> Hopefully, you, I provide you a, yeah, no, a good I'm enough life for my son. You ain't this. got to do that shit. But daddy turned five. Into I don't 10. police women's <laughs> bodies. I'm, I'm talking shit. <laughs> but I'm not. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> wow bars. Wow, 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 We're getting the order of the show. Having too much fun out here. All right, man, this comes from, um, this is West Side Gun's song, but the verse that it is is Esty Knack. <laughs> Never heard of this nigga before, but Say it again. he said some wild shit. Esty Knack. I don't understand. What, is it funny the way I said it? I mean, I was trying to make sure I heard it correct. You've been clowning me all show. <laughs> Afterwards, we'll go outside and we're going to have a conversation. <laughs> Sure right. will. So he was okay. kind of slurring. He got an unorthodox flow or whatever. Offbeat on that song. But he said, uh, took the whole cum shot like it was the blood of Christ. She did or he did? She did. Okay. Whoa. I, I mean, just, I people live whatever, whatever, I, I, whatever I mean, you want to do. I'm just saying, I didn't know. Like, I couldn't follow yeah, I don't know if the blood of Christ is meant to be taken like a cum shot or like a, I don't even, yeah, yeah. a motherfucker <laughs> mad because you got on a fur coat. Like we throwing blood on you and shit. How mm. are we supposed to receive the blood of Christ? Is that just figurative? I'm asking you, nigga. Don't you go to church? You don't read the Bible? I have not read the Bible, Fucking but I am a, you know, <laughs> I am Christian. I would like to. You're a heathen. Uh, all right. Let's see what you want to say. <laughs> Shout <laughs> out. <laughs> Shout outs, man. <laughs> um. Shout out to my wife and kids, man. You know, always holding it down, making all of what I do worthwhile and the reason why I go as hard as I do shout out to all the small black owned businesses and entrepreneurs out there inspiring us and continuing to show us the way and showing us how we should be in- influencing us all to do better and to build generational wealth yo shout out to you bro as always great episode man being real being honest being us and true nature to the show um and yeah man one of us is being honest uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah this month I, I waited till after you was yeah, done you a bitch you know no go ahead I'm just fucking around man uh shout out my wife and kid man appreciate y'all um shout out you man appreciate it. despite I don't care what I said man 
You a good ass co host. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't like that smug look you I got. And I didn't ask for no <laughs> fucking rebuttal during my shout outs. I shut up while you were shouting out. Make sure you zoom in on this face. I'm not I zooming know. in on shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> shout you out, man. Um, shout out um, the listeners, of course. I got to stop shouting y'all out last, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with us every week. Couldn't do this without y'all. We could, but we appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping us in business. All right, man. And of course, we got a uh, shout out sponsor Stokes and Bagginess. One shout out uh, Hitman Podcast. Uh, Chris, what? MG, what? Katie, what? Cinco. What? And uh, got a shout out King Odizi, man. He dropped a new project. I chose violence. Shit is busting, man. The production. What? The beats. What? Same shit. Uh, the rhymes. <laughs> what? <laughs> the shit is just a it's a well put together project. I like it. I've been bubbling it ever since it came out, man. We got it playing in the beginning underneath when we talking and shit. So please support. Good project. Um other than that. Shout out y'all out, shout out them out. Yeah. I think we out. Don't be weird. This has been the I Ain't Going Show. You can watch us on YouTube or listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Amazon Music, Stitcher, and Audible. Please be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and follow.